this is Myra Elaine on the Buying Space channel. Today I'm reading from Mark chapter 6 verse 7 to 13. And he called unto him the twelve, and began to send them forth by two and two, and gave them power over unclean spirits, and commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey, save a staff only, no script, no bread, no money in their purse but be shod with sandals, and not put on two coats. And he said unto them, In what place soever ye enter into an house, and abide until ye depart from that place? And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you when you depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet, for the testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah than the day of judgment than that city. And they went out and preached that men should repent. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. How do we treat people in our society that don't have the extra coat, that just have on the simple sandals or the simple tennis shoes, that don't have money? How do we treat people that don't have money? Jesus sent out his disciples with the power to heal. And he's told them, any place you go that doesn't treat you with respect, that doesn't receive you, that won't be charitable to you. Because if you leave with just a staff and the clothes on your back, the basic clothes on your back, you are living off of charity wherever you go. So the places that would not show these men charity or treated them with disrespect, they left that city. They left that town. And Jesus told them to even shake the dirt off of your feet, out of your sandals from that place, because they weren't worthy of the miracles. So this clearly is a teaching from Jesus that everyone should be treated equally. If you are a char charitable person, you shouldn't be picking and choosing who you're charitable to. You should be open-minded enough to think that maybe that guy on the corner deserves a little money. I used to work at a corporate environment. Uh, I used to work for AT&T Universal Card Services. And all these people, I watched them, they would give generously to the United Way. And I have nothing against giving the United Way. They're a wonderful organization as far as I know. But if they had a co-worker who was down and out on their luck and needed money to buy toilet paper, <laughs> or if they saw a guy on the corner who was homeless that needed a meal, they wouldn't take them a meal. They wouldn't give them any money. Now, a lot of times it's justified not giving money, but they wouldn't go get them food. They wouldn't do anything for them. Matter of fact, when they stopped at the red light, they wouldn't even look at them. And I've done that in the past. Be careful how you are charitable. Are you doing it at the office or among your friends and family to look good by giving to a, an organization? Or would you actually help somebody that you met that needed it? Even if it was a scary situation, would you be generous? This is something that I'm working on myself. This is not easy. We live in a day and age where there are people that are on drugs. But I've known people that have recovered from drugs that are tremendous people. 
and they had to survive to come out of that to be those tremendous people. And so you don't know who that person is that's homeless, that needs food. You don't know their character. You don't know what they're capable of. You don't know what their future is. So think about that. And you don't know who they were. That might have been somebody that you used to work with that was the top in sales or the most praised person in the company and they've just fallen out on their luck. They're just going through a trial. These are things to think about and these are direct lessons from Jesus Christ himself from the gospel. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone.